Hi everyone, it's Dalman and Lucy here. The truth is, there's a lot going on with the ground underneath your feet. And in today's lesson, we're gonna go full silt and talk all about some different types of soil. Enjoy! Lucy is studying to become a soil scientist. This is one of her classes. Let's listen in. What is soil? Hmm. Soil is the thin layer of ground on the Earth's surface. There are several different types of soil. From left to right, it's silt, sand, black sand, humus, and clay. Some ways soil can be sorted is by color, texture, and grain size. All these soil classes have given me a great idea for an outdoor project. What are you making, Lucy? Oh, you'll see. Back to class. Silt is found at the bottom of bodies of water, such as lakes and rivers. This silt is tan. It is made up of medium bits of rock. Lucy is reporting that the texture is pretty soft. Lucy, these are both sand. No way! Yes way. Sand is made up of tiny pieces of rock. These sand particles were once part of bigger rocks, but have been worn down over the years. Let's talk about weathering. Wind whipping and waves crashing on these tiny grains of rock is part of the weathering process. It breaks the pieces down further and further. Sandy soil doesn't have to be yellow. There's something called black sand. Black sand is formed near volcanoes. The volcano erupts, and when the lava hits water, it cools down so rapidly that it shatters into small enough fragments to be considered sand. Sand is used to make things. Sand can be heated and melted and made into glass. Next, let's talk about humus. Humus is dark in color and soft, so soft. Dead plants and other once living organisms make up humus. Many plants do great when planted in humus. The plant's roots can gather nutrients through this rich soil and the plant grows big and healthy. Lucy, have you bought any plants lately? Sure have. This clay is gray. Clay is made up of small bits of rock and feels very thick. Clay has several uses. Clay can be used to make bricks and pottery. This ought to do the brick. Ah. Lucy, what are you making? Oh, you'll see at the end of the clay. Ha ah. ha 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 ha. Varying amounts of these parts make different soil types. Experiment time! This experiment will test water retention. Water retention is the soil's ability to hold on to water. The materials you'll need are water, filters, strainer, and three different types of soil. We will pour one cup of water through the soil and observe the differences in water retention. Lucy, you hold on tight to the strainer while I pour. This is sand. Wow, lots of water. This is silt. Hmm, just a little water. Not as much. This is clay. Oh, barely any water. This retains a lot. Those are great observations, Lucy. You're becoming a real scientist. Sand retained the least amount of water, silt retained the middle amount, and clay retained the most amount of water. Lucy, what are you doing? What? Ta-da! Lucy, you made this whole basket out of soil materials? Holland and Clay's work. Uh. Well, at the end of the clay, you know the dirt on soil. 